Yo, 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 everybody. Just about to head out to a show. Just eating up some grub, some rice, corn, and steak. Anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and head out. Hope to see you guys there. Good morning, Mochichu. It is currently 5 a.m. Kind of just getting up. I actually just woke up. Trying to better my life. So we are getting up to do some push-ups. Not really any squats right now because my knee needs to my knee needs to heal. That's something that needs to be done first before I can do anything. I guess I could show the kinds of stuff I'm doing. But yeah, I just said one day I was like, you know what? I'm really tired of being skinny. So we're gonna start doing something about it. And this is what I'm doing about it. I did these yesterday, so I'm sore in the exact same places. Oh, God. Oh. And they're right there, but I need some more. From the skateboard accident last week. Both my knee and that thing on my hand. Skateboard accident. Anyway, I will see you guys later on today. All right, so I just wanted to talk to you guys just a little bit right now, just cause uh, it's like still around, it's actually six now. Just checking my emails. <laughs> Waiting to hear back from some jobs uh, in the tech industry, cause that's where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to learn, learn the coding, learn the programming, and uh, yeah, make a livelihood from that. And then I'm gonna try to make Music, my primary thing after that. Oh, getting it done. And I tend to do this a lot where I just like uh, be on my computer and then just kind of do push ups in between. You know, because it's like I figure if I can get more volume, the amount of push ups I do every day. Say I do a workout, intense workout for an hour or half an hour or whatever, and I only do 40. Well, that's 40 in that day. But if I do like five throughout the day and just add it up, like I've gone up to like 200, you know, if I can increase the volume, maybe I can increase these volumes. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for me for now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, don't you know? This is my favorite game, Call of Duty Ghosts. One of my favorite games. I don't know why. People really hate this game. <laughs> but it's actually my introduction to Call of Duty, you know, because I actually didn't really have video games growing up, but uh, when I did actually finally get access, Call of Duty Ghosts was uh, coming out at the time, so I just got it. And I was like, oh, I love this game. But anyway, let's go into the match. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I am going to start recording my gameplay. That's what I decided to do because, uh, yeah, I think it'd be kind of fun. Don't you think? Don't you think? I think it'd be kind of fun to record myself playing games. I mean, I talk a lot during it, so. You guys might find it entertaining. Go, 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 go. <gasps> Wait a second. <gasps> no! All right, we're gonna go on a I'm up revenge it. rampage. Here we go. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on. The gun is gone. Ah! I killed two people for you, dog. I hope that's enough. Sorry, man. Ah! This is why I shouldn't be uh, in the military because I would just shoot all my teammates. <laughs> Come back here. Our dog ready. Flower pot. Ah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this shit. Securing <laughs> So I'm in here with uh, Justice, What's one up, of the guys? Uh, founders of the Artists at Work Collective, right? 
Absolutely. Cool. Like, just tell us a little bit about like what you guys do, because I mean, this is a pretty, pretty successful night, I would say. I mean, there's, Dude, thank you. There's usually like uh, open mics around Albuquerque, but they're not really as popping as this one. Dude, I'm Honestly. so fucking like, like. Okay, first, let me start by saying like, I nobody can be more excited than I am. You know? Yeah. Like, I hear all of these, all of these artists, right? And I think that all of you guys are so inspiring. Um, and like artists at open mic, like what we found um, actually started in Santa Fe. Um, or maybe I should go back further than that, right? Oh. Um, to the, the birth of the artists at work collective. Um, basically, Bryce and I had met at karaoke, you know, um, out in Santa Fe. And um, I, I like heard him sing and I like could tell, cause you know, like when you hear a vocalist sing, you're like, you're an artist, you know? Yeah. You're like, you're not just here fucking around on karaoke, like you're an artist. And so I kind of went at Bryce and was like, you're an artist. And he's like, yeah, he's like, are you one too? And, he, and yeah, you know? Um, and he, he told me to come to this open mic with him, you know, and we go to this open mic, you know, which actually spawned the concept, right, for artists at open mic, our open mic that we have in Santa Fe. And um, we, we collabed on this song called Clocked In. Um, and actually, Joan, like, you got, the, you got to hear it, like, not too long ago um, inside. And um, Clocked In, it was, was really the birth of the collective. Oh. And we found that, like, mixing, you know, my, like, ripping guitar, you know, and and with like Bryce, he's like r and His guitar does rip, folks. It does rip. <laughs> it was, it was this wild like reaction that the people had, you know, and we were like, okay, let's let's build on that, you know? And we were like, what if we had this guitar, you know, over r and or this, you know, in country, you know? And yeah. it, it, what it actually spawned, right? Um, and not too long after that, right, Mikhail, our brother, entered the fray. And it was the three of us that founded the collective, you know? Um, and even now as the collective grows and incubates music kind of at every level, because that's really the goal, right? Yeah. Um, is to enhance, <laughs> enrich, um, and incubate music at every level, right? So like, this is Artists at Open Mic, right? It's a stage in the community for artists to come share their, their talent, right? Um, as well as a, uh, an opportunity for them to enter kind of the, the family of the collective, right? Um, in turn, right, that, that like also, we, we don't want the collective to just be a nexus point of musical creativity. Right, we want it to be a next point of musical networking too, you know? So hopefully like you meet people in this crowd, you know, that like you spawn whatever, you know, we, we can't even hope to know, right? right? But we want that kind of incubation of music at every level. Um, so that's us here, you know? But then we also have like this youth open mic that's coming out. Um, the collective just launched like a, um, a project Keystone that um, is targeted. And the ultimate goal, which I think will hit like very, very soon is to be out here. Yeah. This fucking courtyard. Um, this this courtyard, folks. Yeah. Just forgot. A terrible vlogging. It's my first. <laughs> second, I think it's gonna be on my second one now. So. That's so funny. <laughs> but oh. yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next shot. I don't know whenever that's gonna be, but uh, yeah. What's a fan of comedy? Oh, right shit. over here, guys. What does it say? Fridays, 8 p.m. Oh, Friday, there it is. Yeah. Fridays, 8 p.m. Ooh. Ooh. Fridays. Fridays. Yeah, house. yeah, I'm gonna. I might have to try that shit. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? How you doing? How are you? You doing good? That's great. I'm so glad to hear that. So anyway. I am just kind of vlogging a little bit about what's going on. I'm actually going to a salsa night tonight, so if you're in the Albuquerque area, there's uh, at Unhinged Brewery over on 98th Street and also in Juno, uh, both on Wednesdays. They have salsa night where they both teach. Uh, they have a free class in the beginning too. Um, so if you guys are looking to, to do that, I mean, it's free, so why not? Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Uh, trying to learn how to dance and feel the groove a little better. Salsa is a pretty cool dance, I thought. Very different from how I usually dance. Actually, you know what? It's kind of funny. I went there last week and the instructor said that it looked like I was doing the Charleston. <laughs> it's just, I'm just so goofy, I guess. Tall and lanky and and uh, probably just doing putting the, the grooves in the wrong places. But um, I just thought that was kind of funny and I just wanted to share. Yeah. Go do this, uh, do this salsa thing. Yeah, I guess I will uh, see you guys whenever I see you again. Okay, so this is the only time that I feel comfortable to vlog because there's nobody really around. I'm currently at Unhinged Brewery in Albuquerque. I have like the little salsa night going on. Well, I mean, it was going on, but you know how it goes. Not many people showed up tonight i guess but uh yeah it was fun 
pretty fun. Um, just feels a little awkward to vlog. Vlogging is weird. I don't know, like, <sighs> nobody really does it out here in Albuquerque, so I'm kind of the only one, I think. I'm not sure I see anybody else vlogging, really, except for that one, uh, that one dude. I mean, he doesn't really vlog, but he makes videos, like Johnny something. He's pretty funny, too, so like, you guys should check him out. I might link him uh, if I remember, but yeah. So this is Salsa Night. Had lots of fun. And uh, hopefully we can come back next week. That would be great. All right, see you guys in the next next clip. And I'll try to be more confident about the events I go to and you know, vlogging my life and talking to a, uh, my phone. But uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's get it, guys. I don't know what that means, but or that, what that's referring to, but we're just going to get it, whatever it is. Whatever it means to you, get it. Okay? Okay. Self-motivation. Go. Get off your lazy bum. Off the couch. Go do something. <laughs>